Um, so also too, I kind of wanted to say, uh, what got you into um, cryptocurrency and Bitcoin and everything like that? Well, I've uh, I've gone on the rabbit hole as far as uh, studying, you know, economics and the the global banking system for a long time, uh, probably you know, 15 years or so. And, you know, once I looked into fractional reserve banking and how it looked like a giant global Ponzi scheme, the massive debt bubble that we're in and the impact that it has um, sociologically as well as economically, I've always been looking for some kind of viable solution. And I was looking at alternative models as well as alternative currencies, but a lot of the other currencies out there, you know, like using uh, gold or silver or even using community currencies, you know, where you can barter stuff like that. It's just not scalable, right? Like it doesn't it doesn't meet the demands of a global market, right? We're, uh, we're uh, the world is is more connected on a global level and we have technology and a lot of those other methods, although gold and silver can be a great hedge and store of value. Uh, because it's something physical and tangible that stood the test of time. As far as a currency, um, it's a little bit outdated when, when we have the <clears throat> type of technology we have today. I mean, how are you, how are you going to send uh, gold to you know, another part of the world to make an online purchase or something like that, right? Um, so I, I never really found a solution until I heard about Bitcoin. And once I saw Bitcoin, the, the light bulb kind of went out. Now, I, I attempted to get into Bitcoin a lot longer. Like, I, it, there were multiple attempts at trying to get into Bitcoin. But at the time, I wasn't very tech savvy, right? It was a process that I had to grow into. Uh, you know, necessity is the mother of all inventions. So, you know, I heard about Bitcoin in 2012 <clears throat> and tried to download the, the core wallet, the QT client. <clears throat> And, you know, it takes a day to sync, right? To sync all the blocks, but I had no idea what I was doing. So after about four hours, I just saw that it was syncing and I, I just thought this was downloading. So I didn't, I thought it wasn't working properly. So I just kind of deleted it. And I was like, ah, you know, whatever. I guess it doesn't work. <laughs> but unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, um, you know, Bitcoin was, was dirt cheap back then and so as a result of of not having uh you know perseverance and and um yeah as a result of just kind of being lazy i uh, missed an opportunity to potentially make a lot of money and then that in 2013 the summer of 2013 we hit the cyprus bubble and bitcoin <clears throat> broke new records and hit 260 and then i heard about it again i was all over the media and i was kicking myself because you know, I think uh, Bitcoin was in the single or double digits when when I tried to get into it. And I know that if I had just stuck with it a little bit longer and just figured out what I needed to do, that I, I would have been fairly hardcore into Bitcoin even, even at that point. So um, I missed an opportunity as a result of that. I decided I wasn't going to miss any opportunities again. So I did what it, it took to teach myself um, how to get involved, how to keep my coins secure, how to trade everything. And literally, I, I mean, the first few months was just obsessing about it 24 seven, learning everything I could about it, uh, eventually moving on to Linux operating system. And it was a huge, it was a huge uh, learning curve for me. But the, the more I studied, the more I learned, and then you learn through experience. And, um, so like I said, like I mentioned in the, the previous show, you know, cryptocurrency is a meritocracy. It's, you know, you'll be rewarded if you put the, the time and energy into it. But, um, you know, for those who, who aren't really willing to, to invest that kind of time and energy, then um, they're missing out on opportunities because there's a lot of money to be made in these markets. <laughs>